PI is unique in the positioning market in that we manufacture our own piezo ceramic material. At our facility in, in eastern Germany, uh, we manufacture the material from its raw component parts and produce components, actuators and piezo motors that are widely used in the, in, in the company's product range. The components, they're employed in a, a diverse range of applications. Many are used in the medical market. We manufacture components that are used in nebulizers, in ultrasonic devices, in micro pumps, micro valves, and we're also involved in energy harvesting. PI is a global organization. Uh, we employ more than 750 people worldwide, and we have subsidiary offices in all major markets uh, around the world. Uh, the company produces precision positioning systems. We have three manufacturing sites in Germany where we produce precision positioning stages, multi-axis hexapod systems and nano positioning systems that can uh, position objects to the nanometer scale. Nano positioning stages are widely used in the semiconductor industry. Indeed, a microprocessor that you'll find in a computer or, or a mobile phone will almost certainly have seen some PI equipment at some point during its, its manufacturing cycle. But that's not all that the company does. We offer a broad range of motorised positioning stages that are employed in manufacturing and, and measurement applications where, where light is, is involved. So the light may be uh, performing the manufacturing process or maybe making the measurement. A piezo motor is, is, as the name states, a motor that uses a piezo element as the drive basis, what you would probably call a stator in a traditional drive technology. We have uh, several different types of piezo motors that we uh, produce and we design and manufacture all in-house. These start with our ultrasonic piezo motors where we excite a piezo element at ultrasonic frequencies to create an oscillating motion to drive a friction rod backwards and forwards. We also produce stepping piezo motors where we excite individual piezo fingers with inside an element to drive a friction rod backwards and forwards. We also produce slip stick piezo motors where we have a very fast expansion in one direction and a very slow contraction and that causes a slipping and a sticking motion. Custom Motion Systems is an exciting and new development in the UK. Our objective is to offer flexible uh, positioning system solutions that fall outside the, the normal umbrella of PI and PI MICOS product range. And wherever possible, we of course will try and offer PI products in, in these solutions, however not exclusively. In some instances we'll use source equipment from outside PI, from a component level and also from an expertise level. Another interesting development is our uh, new quartz and topaz drive chassis and control systems. Controlling uh, both two-phase and five-phase stepper motors, brushed and brushless servo motors, we're able to accommodate these drives in two different chassis, one offering one to eight axis capability, the other offering one to four. Um, uh, also in the Ethernet and RS-232 in the case of the topaz and PCI based and standalone capability in the case of the quartz. We have quite a wide range of hexapod designs, ranging from very small compact designs to very high load designs to our compact longer travel space fab designs. We use a number of different drive technologies, DC motors, brushed or brushless, ultrasonic or stepping piezo motors, and we have a brand new, very exciting technology, which is our PI mag, which uses um, our magnetic drive technology for a hexapod solution. Some high profile projects where the company have been involved include the Mars rover mission, the Atacama Large Millimeter Array or ALMA telescope project, and also the LISA Pathfinder mission. In order to achieve the reliability required, we work very closely with our customer base. We develop long-term relationships with them and we are in regular contact with them to understand their applications and also that allows them to understand the capability and limitations of the equipment that we supply.